Students, assalamu alaikum. This is Muhammad Imran Murtaza from Anglo Friday English Learning Center. I hope you remember in the last class I taught you about verb. It was a verb is a word which shows an action or a state. That's what I taught in the last class. Okay? It was simply a kind of revision. And today I'm going to start teaching you a very important part of English that is B E B. B verb. Sometimes people call it to be verb. I mean infinitive. To be verb. So uh, as far as B verb is concerned, B verb plays an important role uh, if you talk about English language. Without B verb, if someone tries to uh, introduce themselves, they won't be able to do so. So it's very important to learn B verb in detail. So that's what I'm going to teach you today. Okay, uh, as everyone knows that there are three forms of uh, verb like go, went, gone, do, did, done, play, played, played. In the same way, we have got a B verb and B verb has got three forms here. The first form of B verb, I mean verb one, it is, is am, are, and second form was and were, and the third form of B is been. The way we say go, went, gone. In the same way, we can use is am, are, was, were, and then been. Is am, are, was, were, and then been. I hope you understand this. There are three forms of verb, as I told you, there are three forms of verb. Play, played, played, write, wrote, written. In the same way, we have got a B verb here. Okay? And the first form of B is am, are. Second form was, were. And the third form, been. Is am, are, was, were, and been. Okay? I hope you understand this. So could you repeat after me? First form is am, are. Second form was and were and third form been okay repeat after me first form is am are second form was and were and third form been is am are was were and been now the next step the question is why we use the b word why okay uh, we use the b word when we talk about introduction if you talk about your own introduction we will definitely be using the word B, the word B, okay? All right, so B could be action verb, B, uh, like, uh, sorry, B is a state verb, B could be helping verb. So we'll discuss later how we use B as a, uh, as, as a helping verb. But today what we're learning, we are learning B as a state verb, okay? When we talk about B as a state verb, it talks about your profession, condition, position, age, time, weather, name, address. A apart from this, there may be some other, you know, other ways, okay? But especially when we talk about, uh, like if you talk about a simple language, just to make the people understand, so we need to simplify, we need to make it a bit simple. So that is why I'm talking about profession, condition, position, age, time, weather, name, address, etc etc okay okay why don't you speak after me we use b b means is m r was word and been we use is m r was word and been as a state word as a state word to talk about profession condition position age time weather and address okay i hope i hope you understand this all right now next now let me make some sentences so that you will be able to understand me easily okay let me go to the next slide okay here are some examples okay we are learning b now if i talk about example profession as i told you earlier that b talks about profession and the first form of b is mr okay so when we talk about is mr it talks about present here we go i am a teacher what is teacher here it is a profession what is teacher here? It is a profession. And when we talk about profession, we use B verb. When we talk about profession, we use B verb. B means is MR. Okay? 
this M here is a state verb. It is not a helping verb. See, uh, as far as helping verb is concerned, uh, we will discuss helping verb after some time. But let me explain you only be verb now as a state verb. So, I am a teacher. Teacher is a profession. For profession, we use B verb. B means is MR. This M here, it is acting as a state verb. It is not a helping verb. Here, M is introducing I. It is talking about I's profession. Okay? Now, she is ill. Here, ill is condition. Ill is condition. So, is here. This word is, it is not a helping word. It is a B word. It is a state word. Condition. For condition, we use B. For condition, when we talk about condition, we use the word B. Okay? And B means is MR. She is ill. Is here is being used as a state verb, not a, as a helping verb. We are in the classroom. So we are in the class. This is a position. And when we talk about position, we use B verb. B means is MR. Here we see R. This R is here. It is a B verb. It is not a helping verb. It is not helping. It's a B verb. In fact, it is talk about, uh, talking about your position. So whenever we talk about profession, condition, position, age, time, weather, name, address, phone number, of course we use the word B. We use the word B. B means is M R. So you must remember, keep in your mind, this B is not here helping verb. It is a state verb. I hope you understand this. If you have any question regarding anything, you may contact me. I'll give you a number when I finish my video. Okay? Don't worry about this. Alright. He's 34 years old. Here, we are talking about age. And when we talk about age, of course, we use the word, word B. Okay? And B means is MR. He is. 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 This word B word. It is 430. It's 4.30, 4.30 is time. Of course, we, when we talk about time, we use B verb, B means is MR. The weather is so hot. So, of course, as far as uh, weather is concerned, when we talk about weather, we use B. B means is MR. My name is Sin, Sir Imran Murtaza. People call me Sin, Sir Imran Murtaza. So, when, whenever we talk about our names, we use B. B means is MR. Okay, so remember, whenever you introduce yourself, when someone uh, someone thinks that they should introduce themselves, so we will definitely follow the B verb. B means is and are, is and are. And you must remember one thing, this is and are, they are not helping verbs, they are called state verbs. You remember, I taught you there are two kinds of verb. A verb is a word which shows an action and a state. Okay, state, 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 a sentence in which there is no action, a sentence in which there is no action, no action, that is called state verb, that's what, here, B is being used as a state verb, I hope you understand this, now, I'll just speak, uh, speak in Urdu for, for your convenience, okay, remember, look, when we talk about our profession, condition, position, age, time, weather, ki, so, we use B verb in the middle B means is and are. In schools, we have to say that is and are helping verbs. I agree that is and are helping verbs. But here is and are not helping verb. Is and are not helping verb. This is and are here B verb. है. To be verbs को कहते हैं be verb ये is am are हम यह state verb के तौर पे इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं state verb में क्यों बोल रहा हूँ क्योंकि इसमें action नहीं है इसमें कोई काम नहीं है जब काम नहीं है तो ये सारे state verbs के तौर पे इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं I hope you understand my point आपको समझ आ रही है alright very good अब मैं आपको एक और चीज बताता हूँ उसके बारे में let me tell you one thing very important now, you know what, I've seen that great many students, when they make sentences, they tend to make some uh, basic mistakes, okay? And I think, uh, like, uh, being a good student, you must try to avoid making such mistakes. Let me tell you what mistake is. Alright, now see, 
Of course, we know that when we talk about first form of verb, that is ASMR, second form was verb, and third form been. Now, I'm going to let you know how to use ASMR, was verb, been, and in the future, we use will be, and I'll teach you later what will be. Okay, fine. See, when we talk about present, we use ASMR. That's what present. See, my teacher, I'm a teacher, it's present. I was a teacher. We use verb to. Verb to. Is a word. Verb to was verb. I was a teacher. And then the last one that plays an important role. You see that when we talk about what? Like I am a teacher for 10 years. This is what an incorrect sentence. You must avoid using it. Okay. I've seen great many students speaking like I am a teacher for two years. I am ill for two days. That is a wrong sentence. I am, I am ill for two days is a wrong sentence. You can't afford to use is MR over here. Remember, is MR talks about present. It's the first form of verb, verb one. When we talk about past, we use a second form of verb. I was a teacher. And when we talk about time expression, here we see time. In fact, it's a present perfect tense and I'll teach you about present perfect later. But now at present I'm teaching you B. So I've got to concentrate on B verb so that you'll be able to speak it quite effectively without any mistake. Okay? Now, see here. I am a teacher is present, present and first form of verb. I was a teacher, second form of verb was and I have been a teacher for 15 years. I have been, I have been. You see, please, please, please concentrate. I have been, I have been, have been, have been. A teacher for 15 years. Why? Because there's a time expression. If we don't use a time expression, we can use ASMR. No problem. I'm a teacher. But when you use a time expression, this, this becomes present perfect tense. And we are supposed to follow have plus third form of verb. Verb three, verb three. Here, been is a verb three. It is not a helping verb. I have been a teacher for 15 years. You must remember, because in this sentence, we are talking about time expression. And when we use a time expression, it becomes present perfect. Why? Because it talks about past and present. Both past and present. When we talk present, we will talk about first form of verb. When we talk about past, we will talk about past form of verb. When we talk about past, we will talk about second form of verb. When we talk about past and present, we will talk about both. Past and present. Past and present. जब दोनों की बात करेंगे, it becomes present perfect tense. And when we talk about present perfect, we use have plus verb three. This been here is verb three. Is a verb. Verb one was verb. Verb two and been verb three. Is a verb. Was verb. Been. Is a verb. Was verb. Been. So when we talk about present, is a verb. When we talk about past, was verb. When we talk about past and present, we use have been, has been, he, she, it. With a, th a third but the singular, we use has been, he has been, she has been, it has been, Sir Imran has been. But if you talk about I, we, you, they, we use have been. I have been a teacher for 15 years. You have been a student for four days. Okay, so you must remember that's how we use the B verb. Let me recap this one. Okay, again, what are we learning? We are learning B. Well, the first form B is MR, second form was verb, and third form been. Okay, so we use B is MR was verb been as a state verb, as a state verb, not helping verb. And when we use them as a state verb, it talks about profession, condition, position, age, time, weather, name, address, etc, etc. You just keep in mind, this is not, and these are not helping verbs. These are B verbs. Okay? I hope you understand this. Alright, it's enough for today. Today I taught you a very important part of English that is B verb and I hope you understand. There is no problem at all. If you have any problem, you can just send me a message and I just give you my WhatsApp number 03218216170. Okay? 
So you must remember before I just finish my class, uh, before I wrap up my class, I just would like to you know request you why don't you just subscribe my channel and uh, click that icon, uh, bell button. Uh, bell icon that is what very important because when I just upload my new video you will be able to watch it okay and uh, one thing more very important if you want if you want some exercises like uh, like uh, uh, let me uh, let me give you some exercises if you want some exercises you can send me whatsapp I will send you uh, I will send you something like about uh, exercises in days to come all right so uh, please whatsapp me I'll send you some exercise material of beaver in this way you will be able to you know uh, do practice some writing practice okay i hope you understand my point thank you very much until next time allah Hafiz.